If I was a top-notch poet like Chris Okigbo, Derek Walcott, R.T.S. Eliot, I would write a poem so damn deep that it bittersweet, like a precious memory will make you weep, will make you feel incomplete. Like when you love a leave, and though the feet you concede, still you beg and you plead till you win a reprieve and you're ready for rock steady, but the music done already. Still, in the meantime, with me rhythm, with me rhyme, with me rough bass line, with me own sense of time, goon poet of a step in line. Kabuta lazy might have got couple thousand, but Mandela fee him thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands. If I was a top notch poet, like Kamau Brathwaite, Martin Carter, Jane Cartes or Amiri Baraka, I would write a poem so rude and rootsy and subversive that it make the goon poet turn white with envy. Like a kandumble voodoo come in a chant, a old time calypso or a slave song that get banned. But from granny right down to grand picnic, each and every one can recite that the one. Still, in the meantime, with me rhythm, with me rhyme, with me rough bass line, with me own sense of time, Goon poet of a step in line. Kabuta lazy might have got couple thousand, but Mandela fee him thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands. If I was a top notch poet, like Chikaya Yotamsi, Nicholas Goen, Arlana Goodison, I would write a poem so beautiful that it's simple. Like a plain girl with good brains and nice ways, with a sexy disposition and plenty compassion, with a sweet smile and a subtle style. Still, me now go bow and scrape and go on like a ape, peddling no puerile parchment ethnicity, with ungla vague fleeting hint of authenticity. Like a black lance purse, in reverse, or even worse, a babbling buffoon will lose him tongue. No, sir, not at all. Me got me rhythm, me got me rhyme, me got me rough bass line, me got me one sense of time. Goon poet of a step in line. Kabuta lazy might have got couple thousand, but Mandela fee him thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands.